Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you a tip on topography on how to create mounds and swales in, in Revit. This is something that's quite complicated and usually you'd want this mound to have a, a, a certain grading coming from the road and for instance we would have a swell on the other side that would run along but the, the tricky part with this is that you, you could make the topography the contours or the points that make the topography uh, quite easy if this was all straight but because this topo surface goes up and down here it's quite complex I found a quick way to do this and that gives you a an amazing result. So if we go in a, a plan view and if we think that we wanted our mount to have this shape or whatever, whatever other we want and our swell would have that shape, uh, what we would do, I pre-prepared a, a family, a planting family that's just a cross really so it only has two lines because it's a planting family to a host on the side. So what we do, we just go along placing this family here. And the same for the swale. What we would do next is start an in-place mass and we would create a spline so we can actually go in 3D and create this in 3D and let's do the spline and we'll do the same for the swell Once we're done, we just need to select all these lines, divide them, we can increase this number here, and what we'll do is I've prepared a family, a two-point adaptive family, that has all this structure of reference lines, but what's, what it's doing is just creating the points like this one that create my main spline and uh, I needed this structure because I want to make sure that this curve that creates kind of a tangent with the continuous of the topo surface later and I also have some an offset parameter here to control the height of this top of the mound and a few other parameters but if I load this one into the project And if I place it, so I'll use the repeat and I'll do the same thing for the swell. And I'll remove the repeater. Then you would make these end ones, probably something very then you select one of these, say select all, and let's unselect the mound, and we'll swap it for minus one meter for instance, and we have our swell. What we'd have to do is probably at the ends here, make it something smaller and make it this one, these ones, minus 500 so it smooths out so it doesn't go down all the way at once so we'll do the same here, select these ones
So again, select one, select all, and select these in and create form. The second one would be select all again and select these. Create form. We can check that we have our mound and swell. There's something here is not exactly the way we want it. That should be okay. So if I do finish math, what would I have to do? Let me just hide. All these elements. And we can even isolate this. So what we would want to do is can take off the show math and we will export a DWG. So one setting to bear in mind is that we should be polymesh. Press save. Just save it with any name. And we'll just import it back in. Now that we have a cat here, this is the cat drawing. We can just create a site, a topo surface, from an import instance. And if you notice, we have a very detailed uh, topography here. We can even simplify the surface so that it's not so complex. And we can finish and we can go to our plan and basically what I would want is to grab these lines in our topo I'm going to isolate and I'm going to do split face select this and maybe just to make sure we'll use an offset from these lines Just finish, use the same tool again. So now we can delete the flat ones that we'll remove and show these ones here and use the split tool on the surface. So again, the same offset and pick the same lines one more time. It's failing because it's actually this boundary is going outside the surface because the surface is not quite right but the easy fix is just to pull this out a little bit just to make sure yes here it happens the same thing so if we try again split face big lines and this time we'll delete the exterior if we go in 3d and isolate just the topography we'll see that we have these two faces and all we need to do is merge again And we do have a swale and mound that just go with the rest of the surface. And with this, you can easily come and check grading here. As you can see there is one in four, one in two. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.